Is there a possibility that Halo Infinite could have been the greatest Halo game of all time? What's up with the missing customization from the Tenrai event that we have not seen yet? Some news and information when it comes to Firefight, our progression system, as well as challenge based unlocks. I answer your questions and a lot more within this video, so make sure you stay throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. So I recently went to my community tab here on YouTube and I asked the question if you guys have anything you want to know more about when it comes to Halo Infinite and you guys certainly responded with over 100 comments on this post. We're going to be using this quite often for future videos as well. So if your question did not get answered, don't worry, there's still a chance for you guys to have some success when it comes to being part of the channel here. If you guys want to catch the next time we post on this channel, make sure to subscribe to keep it up to date with all the new updates when I come on the community page. I post new videos, I post polls, as well as questionnaires on here to take part of new videos. Now I know things with Halo Infinite have been a little stale recently, but if you're looking to fulfill your sci-fi need fix and you want to be able to rewrite the story of humankind in space, well check out Astro Kings. Astro Kings is the ultimate real-time multiplayer sci-fi mobile game, and you can immerse yourself in this epic free-to-play game on either iOS, Android, or Windows phone as well. And right now Astro Kings is celebrating their fourth year anniversary. Your task is to revitalize the colony, fight aliens and pirates that want to take down your civilization. And the way you do that is by constructing, upgrading, and rebuilding planet ruins to bring them back to their previous glory. Recruit and collect legendary galactic heroes that will help you complete your missions and lead your battle to victory and conquest. Build new starships including cruisers, interceptors, motherships in order to vanquish space pirates, galactic criminals, and alien fleets. And join powerful alliances by creating a planetary embassy and joining a galactic federation to team with other players in this epic MMO and PvP battle. Download the game by clicking the link in the top of the description or by scanning the QR code and claim the special anniversary rewards. So if you guys want to help support the channel, check out the links or the QR code in the video and thank you Astro Kings for sponsoring this video. Let's get right back though into those details. Jacob Modasek asks, do you think that Halo Infinite could have been the greatest Halo? I listened to the music while looking at the concept art and I imagine how this could have been a perfect game. Which if you haven't seen the concept art for Halo Infinite guys, there's a whole book to it. I did a video about this previously on the channel as well. And yeah, the concept art is amazing. The music is amazing. And it really gives you that nice atmosphere feel of Halo, which is honestly something we haven't really had since like Halo Reach. Now, do I think Halo Infinite could have been the greatest Halo game of all time? I mean, it certainly had the development time to do it, but it didn't exactly turn out that way. Though I still truly believe that Halo Infinite is a very fun game and a game that finally returns to the roots of what makes it feel like Halo is the first time we've had that since Halo Reach. And this is a sentiment and topic I want to discuss about how people really built up the expectations of Halo Infinite to be their everything game, right? They've had enough dev time between Halo games, all the stuff that they were showing pre-release stuff, like during the blogs that we were covering on the channel here as well, like really got us hyped up, made us feel like it was going to be a true Halo experience. And well, it's a true Halo experience, but very much to the core experience rather than the expansive buffet of experiences that we're used to having with Halo. Now, when it comes to being the greatest Halo of all time, I mean, it certainly has the potential with the gameplay, but I do think that does kind of fall into a bit of subjectiveness about what is the greatest Halo, because it's such a long legacy of CE 2 and 3, or just highly regarded games as some of the best games ever created in gaming history. But I do feel that Halo Infinite has the potential to keep up with those classic games and really carve out its own type of history within the franchise of Halo. So the big thing is we just need time and updates. The Watermelon says, no one has answered my question on this small topic, but here's my chance. The Tenra event has long passed, but there are two armor pieces that have yet to appear in the shop at all, but they were marketed and never made an appearance. Is there a reason for this? Will the Tenra event come back a second time? It brings up that other games like Apex have brought back previous events as well. So could we see the same thing with Halo Infinite? Now when it comes to the Tenrai event itself, I don't ever expect to see it come back. That's kind of the idea of these live service events that like, 
it's supposed to make you jump in and play off of your FOMO a little bit to get you to come back and play to keep that player retention up. And it's up to 343 to be pumping out more customization and content to get people to jump in and actually play the game. Now, Watermelon does specifically bring up the Dragonborn shoulder patch, which do look very awesome. And I would love to see him come into the game as well. And we could potentially see this come into like a shop or something like that. And we do know that season one content could be coming into season two, according to Unishek. In a reply on Twitter about this topic here, bringing up all the awesome customization for season one here, Unishek did reply saying that some bundles may return in the future. If they do though, it may not be for a couple months. Hang in there. So if there's any more customization coming for these fracture cores, like the Eagle Strike, as well as the Yorai, they'll be coming through the shop. Now when and how, that's totally up to 343 when that could happen, but I definitely could see this happening. Maybe once cross core armor pieces come into the game, we could see this come around to have some more awesome customization for you to buy into. When I was nine, I crapped myself, excellent name, asked the question, are we ever going to get Firefight? A real firefight, not some PvE mode on some maps we've already been playing on. Definitely a reference and a little bit of a jab to Halo 5's Warzone firefight, which I think had some cool aspects when it comes to calling in the wreck stuff, but again, it was just being played on the Warzone maps. Now, I don't really expect to see any kind of like version of firefight coming anytime soon for Halo Infinite, and in my opinion, I'm okay with that. I think firefight as a mode is been kind of played out and really isn't that exciting anymore like in, in just general like wave defense modes that we saw like with gears of war we saw this with call of duty zombies which is still rather popular but has definitely lost its popularity a bit as well firefight with halos jumping on that trend as well back in 2009 with odst and it's been in the game here and there but for the most part i think it's just been played out there really isn't a whole lot else to do i like what 343 tried to do with like spartan ops to kind of integrate some story to some pve mode and stuff like that of course the execution wasn't very good but the story was excellent and i would just say don't even bother with the firefight i would like to see a pve mode but have it not be firefight because i just think the mode has been so played out and just the general of the wave defense mode against pve it just has been played man it's like i want something new i want new fun and crazy experiences to have with halo i don't want to just keep bringing back the same modes we've had for the last 15 years i never played firefight in matchmaking when it comes to mcc unless there were challenges tied to it i just need to get some points mainly because i found the mode kind of boring honestly and the only time i ever really got fun is when you play in custom games but you need to play for at least like an hour at least to get into some really good gameplay which should not be the case with the leaked mode of extraction potentially coming into Halo Infinite being like a PvE VP mode, it sounds like, but most likely to be playing on some new larger scale big team battle type of maps, you'll be kind of getting that experience for them. So I would say no to Firefight, but yes to a new PvE mode, but I'd like to see 343 try to figure out some new way to do it with the Halo sandbox. Bravo says, when Halo Infinite finally adds the true progression system that's been in the talks, do you think it will be a number system like Halo 4 and 5? So you have CSR 1 through 152, or will it be a military rank system like we saw in Halo 3 and Reach? Personally, I would like to see a military rank system because I like having a more of an emblem or a symbol tied to your name rather than just like another number. When you have like some kind of an emblem or symbol tied to your name, it kind of gives you much more of a visual recognition of like what level you are. Like we had like an MCC. I think the progression system in that is fantastic. That's something we absolutely need in Halo Infinite. Now the one through 152 is all right. I mean, 152 was definitely highly regarded, but just not as fun or as cool because it's just a number. There is no design element to it like we had with Reach in Halo 3. But honestly, just copy and paste whatever you did in MCC and bring that over to Halo Infinite and it will go over very well with the community. And 343 did previously state that they are currently working on an XP progression system for long-term progression, but it said it's not coming anytime soon. I would expect it maybe towards the end of 2023, but we'll just have to wait and see when that happens. Dalton Burrow asks, Will we ever get armors outside of a pass or the store that have a static difficult challenge associated to earn them? For example, Halo 3 Hayabusa or Recon and Halo 5 Helios Grill. I definitely think we could see some kind of like challenge based earned armor set coming into Halo event eventually though. 
Though I kind of have a feeling this might be tied to either an event or maybe whenever we get campaign DLC years down the road or something like that. But one thing I think they definitely need to do is have some more long-term challenges or progression that's needed to keep players playing this game. Right now, everything's on a week by week basis when it comes to unlocking new items. I would love to see what they did in MCC with the seasonal challenges where it takes the full season to generally complete most of these challenges. These are more long-term kind of stuff, but they need to be something that's more rewarding or more active for the player to do rather than just like play the game earn this thing because you played this amount of hours you brought up the example of getting like 500 back smash and you earn something that's kind of boring doing something specific to earn this kind of challenge now that is something is very rewarding like playing the game on legendary the hard part is it's trying to find a balance of something that's achievable but difficult but also doesn't influence how people play the game because if the challenge was like get 50 wins in a row or something crazy like that right you'd see teams of four jumping into slayer all the time really messing and up the fun with a lot of people because you'd be playing as full parties the whole time. We saw this happen with Warzone and we can't have that again. I think a really fun thing that they did with MCC, they could also do with Halo Infinite. In MCC, they have these golden MOAs, right? Where you can kind of find them throughout the levels. And then if you get that, you find all the MOAs, you get like some certain points or something that you kind of spend to unlock new things in the game. We could do something very similar where maybe you have some kind of like trophy or some kind of mystery box kind of thing where like maybe trickle some clues here and there within the campaign that would involve people to jump into the open world, search for things and get the community involved when it comes to finding out how to unlock this mystery that they could create. We saw something similar happen with Warzone for Call of Duty, where you basically you found like these key cards throughout the map and you're able to access different areas to kind of get some sweet unlocks or some kind of new uh, gear for your character to play within the world. We could do something very similar where you maybe place these key cards maybe every once in a while within the open world of Halo and you basically have just to jump in and find them. One, it would make some awesome video content. Two, it would definitely get right involved with it and three of the community would just go ham for it, just try to search throughout the world, try to find all these different locations. I think it'd be a really fun thing to do. Obviously it requires a lot of work and coordination of 343 to make it happen. But I do think it'd be a really fun, interactive way to get the community involved with Halo. Again, huge shout out to Astro Kings for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment down below, guys. Really helps support the channel as well. So thank you very much guys for checking it out. If you want to hear 343's response on how they actually don't force a 50% win ratio for your character, check out this video right here I made. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.